Continuing from the previous video on shift levels, I have now added to the encoder knobs that we can uh, save and recall presets. And I also added this so when I press the shift button, go to shift level one, I recall presets from the preset banks. And when I'm in the off state, I save. Let's look at the configuration. And you see store preset for shift level zero, recall preset for shift level one. The only thing I don't like is I can um, design my controller to have uh, um, actions for three different shift levels, zero, one, and two. And I also set up my shift key to cycle through shift level zero, one, and two. So what it means is when I'm at shift level zero, I get store preset on my encoder button. When I'm at level one, I get recall. But when I go to level two, I also get store presets. So this gives me a chance to tell you what happens when shift level is two and there are no actions for shift level two. Well, just like for button number four, as we saw for this button, it will always fall back to the default action. So if there are no actions for a given shift level, it will fall back to the first one, the default, the one for shift level zero. So the consequence when I press this button is I'm now at level one, I get recall in the display, I now am at level two, but it falls back to the first. What I would like to do is to have a new shift key that will only affect the encoder. So I can do that. I just need to use a different shift register. So I will make B my second shift key. So um, maybe let's give it a contextual name and um, call it save and then a vertical line, save preset. Okay. Or it could also be salvo. Um, that might be the kind of name you would give to this sort of function. And we use this to set a shift level to one, but in a different register than the default. So if I choose A, it means that I set a different shift level, register A, instead of the default we use up here. I will now make this button a toggle button. So when I press it repeatedly, it will change between level zero, level one, back to level zero again, and so forth. So to use this shift level, I will, um, I want to use it only for the encoder. And to do that, I need to specify which shift register to use for the encoder. And it has to be the first action in the list. So unfortunately, I need to remove all the actions because I cannot insert an action in the list at this point. Therefore, I will clear it. I will add a local shift register a, and notice this has to be the first action when you do this, because this is going to affect whatever happens below. And then the next one will simply be recall preset. And then I add another one, store preset. So in level zero, the function of encoder one will be to recall presets. And in shift level one, it will be to store presets. And notice that it's the shift level register A that is used to evaluate the shift state. So let's save these settings and see what happens when I install the new firmware. So now the new firmware is installed and we see the second shift key right here. Let's just see when I press the first one, we still see the cycling of the labels down here. So this is the global shift register, the default that affects the whole controller when we have done nothing else. While this one will turn on and off and you can see how it affects the function of the encoder, changing it from setting um, uh, the save function or um, giving us access to the recall function.